Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel. My name's David, and let's talk about the thumb tip today. Chances are if you got a magic kit for Christmas or you got a magic kit for your birthday, uh, it came with a thumb tip and a little silk, okay? And you were like, what do I do with this? Well, this is a very powerful tool this is a very powerful tool for any magician. Many professional magicians who earn a living doing magic use a thumb tip. And uh, I wanna show you very easily how you can use these two props that you got in your magic kit to do a really cool trick and it's called vanishing a silk. All right, so the thumb tip trick. This is a classic of magic, classic of magic. I have this, I've got tons of these, okay? Uh, you're given a thumb tip. Okay, it's a, it goes on your thumb, it's for your thumb. And put it on, uh, I wear mine on my uh, right thumb. That's the thumb that I feel most comfortable with, okay? Um, but what I do is I put it on about halfway. Don't jam it down. If you jam it down, you won't get it off. Um, push it down just to where it's a little bit snug, okay? And then I grab the silk with the same hand, okay? So now the thumb is behind the silk so it's covered so that nobody can see it and then you can wave it up and down like ooh magic trick okay uh, so you come out like this and you say hey I've got this uh, silk or hey you want to watch me make this silk disappear okay and you can uh, drape the silk back over okay and then you say I'm gonna make a little well I'm gonna make a little hole in this hand, your opposite hand. And then you, I'm doing this in slow motion. You're gonna do this fast, okay? You're gonna put your thumb in here and say, I'm gonna make a little hole, okay? And as you pull your thumb back out, you've left the thumb tip in your hand, okay? Then you say, I'm gonna drape the cloth over the top like this. And then you're gonna use your point, you're gonna use your pointer fingers and just kind of jam this back out. And see, I'm, I'm changing fingers all the time. Always changing fingers. And then you say like, you can still see the silk, you can still see it, can you still see it, yeah? And you're changing fingers, changing fingers, and as soon as you don't see the red anymore, or whatever color, then the last finger that goes in is the thumb. You push your thumb in, you put it right into the thumb tip, and this time you can jam it down until it's tight, and you pull it out, and I'm aiming the thumb towards my face, or aiming the thumb towards my body so that people can't see it and I just make a magic wave. See, and see when you do this, you can't see the thumb. You can't see that it's a different color. And then you put this hand at rest beside your body, because no one needs to look at it anymore. And, then, and you're holding it open so that people can clearly see there's nothing in your hand. And you just go blow, and it's gone. And if you wanna make it reappear from the same place, then you just do the entire thing in reverse. You make a well really quickly. I, make, I pinch this so I don't just gank and pull the whole thing out. You pull it out and then you start pinching it so it comes out slowly. Because it, when it comes out slowly, it's more magical. And then I don't even put it back on. I just keep it in my fist like this and I show both sides. And then because it's in this hand, and I put this hand down beside my body at rest because no one's looking at it and I can wave it again. All right, so one last thing. A lot of those magic kits come with really confusing instructions that are hard to read and then they don't give you very good tricks or even a lot of ideas. You're gonna wanna get a book, or in this case, a booklet, that's gonna have so many more tricks and good ideas, okay? Everybody needs good ideas. And so I would recommend these two books. The first one is 50 Tricks with a Thumb Tip by Milbourne Christopher. So again, 50 tricks in this book. And the second book I would recommend is Darwin's Thumb Tip Number One Secrets. There's 25 tricks in here, and even though there's less tricks in here than there is in this one, uh, the ones in here are really creative and are really amazing tricks in and of themselves. All right, so that's my recommendation. Get a couple of books that's gonna teach you how to use the thumb tip. I'll see you guys next time, bye.